Hello everybody, we're going to come to the Let's Play, we're going to come to the Let's Play with Lunch of the Elementor's Mask now. Why I'm starting the starting screen is because I'm going to show you, I'm showing, I'm trying to show you here. Um, as you can see, well I can use my mouse pointer, as you can see right here, it says there's this, uh, we saved an owl statue, so our time will not be reset to the reset from the very beginning, so yeah. Yes, I know. I know. So what we need to do is to become a Deku scrub. So in the last episode, we made our way. We we made our way to the Deku Palace. We helped a monkey out. And now we're gonna do the actual dungeon we're supposed to do. So apparently, I'm gonna take that off too. On that, you don't need that. You need it on. We're gonna play the Sonata of Awakening. Now you don't have to do this right now. You can do it later. But, um, yeah. So I'll just get done referring to Super Mario 64. Um. So there we are. This is the dungeon. That's not the only time we'll be using the song. We'll be using it again at a later um, date. Or later episode, shall we say. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way over to the temple. Alright, so I'm going to take off this because I don't want to wear this in the dungeon unless I have to. Well, I'm just pointless. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Woodfall Temple. Okay, so as I was saying, this is the first dungeon of the game. We're finally in the first dungeon. It took a long time to get to it, too. I mean, we had to do the whole first day cycle and all that good crap. Well, we, 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 we would have got here sooner if I wouldn't have, um... Wait, we need to get the... We need to equip the Great Freddy's mask. That Applejack gave us. I don't know why I'm saying that. I need to stop saying that. It's just a fairy, not an Applejack. So there we go. We got our first stray fairy. There are 15 in each, um... In each dungeon, we have to collect 15 of each of them. Now, this wouldn't be so bad if they weren't in obvious places, but some of them are hidden. Some of the some of the enemies are some of the enemies some of the uh, stray fairies are hidden well. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to find all of them if you don't know what you're doing. Luckily, I played this game enough to know where each stray fairy is, and I'll be getting all the stray fairies in each dungeon. So, so all the stray fairies, all the masks, that's how it's going to work. And maybe all the heart containers, depending on if you viewers want me to. I mean, and I, I have to look up a guide, though, because I've never gotten all the heart containers before. So, with that, we've gotten ourselves the second stray fairy, and I fell off the, the freaking le ledge. Yeah, we got our second stray fairy. So the first two stray fairies are like really close to each other. So it's kind of um, interesting, I want to say. Yeah, there's those guys there. Those are called black bows. Um, yeah, they're called black bows. I don't know why. They don't even look like bows, but um, basically they're shadow. They're they're like shadow. It's like shadow fog is what it is. So, but yeah. But there are also another version of these creatures in the next area called Snowbows, which we'll get into those a little bit later. But for now, we're only wor I'm only worried about this. So, yep, there we go. We land in there. Just going to take that off now. We don't need that. Oh, no, we do need it, actually. Because I would need to go there. All right. This place stench. This th uh, that stench. This place smells just like that poison swamp. Yes, it does, Fluttershy. Yes, it does. Okay, I need to stop that. I'm probably piss plenty of viewers off calling the calling the fairy that they're not supposed to be called. <laughs> okay, on a high land of that, but all right, I'll take it. So there is a stray fairy over here. 
There's Dirt Stray Fairy number four, uh, three, not four, three, three Rhaegar. Apparently I can't count to five, apparently I can't count to four, apparently. Um. So yeah, we are going to go across the water over here, because there's also another Stray Fairy in one of these pots. That's the fourth one, so yeah, there's four, that's four out of fifteen. There's 15, as I said before, in each dungeon, and each Stray Fairy gives you different rewards, so each Stray Fairy gives you a reward. One of my favorite ones is the final Stray Fairy reward, because it's really interesting. So, alright, so what we need to do is we need to go to that door, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. What I want to do first is I want to fly over here. And pick up this chest. And in this chest is a small key. So yeah, the just just like the adult dungeons, no clear time. We have to do this again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock. Oh, that's glitchy. I'm gonna knock that. Um, oh, that's not gonna work. I have to get a little bit over here. I'm gonna knock that stray fairy off. Uh, uh, off from the thing. There we go. Pick this off. Come equip the uh, Great Fairy's Mask. That fairy will come right up to us. That's fairy number five. So we got we are we already got we already got we're already, we're already part of the way there. So Yeah, this dungeon's pretty short. Um, there are longer dungeons later on, but this is the shortest dungeon out of all of them. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and head this direction now, the way we're supposed to go. Oh, wait, that didn't work. Right! Um, I forgot. I'm supposed to use this thing here still. So let's go ahead and step on it. We'll go ahead and fly our way over there. And there we go. So in here there are some of those there are some of those turtle things we saw in the forest. Now the weak spot is from under, obviously, because they're because they're turtles, so. And I don't know what they're called. I think they're called no, you know what? Actually let's um have Tile tell us. These are snappers, so basically it's a snapping turtle, is what you say it is. Snapping turtle, basically is what it is. There we go. This thing is dead. So yeah, that's a turtle. So that, yeah, but these are these are called snappers. Basically, I think they're snapping turtles. Kind of, I guess. But yeah, this stream is uh, completely optional, but I'm doing it because I'm getting all the items in the dungeon as well that I can get. Well, all the major items anyway. So all the items I'm just going to ignore. So in this chest, we've got ourselves uh, Link. Link. It's cute how Link jumps to it. We got ourselves the dungeon map. Now this is not all interesting as the Ocarina of Time map. All it is is square rooms. Well, that one up there is not really square, but they're mostly square rooms. But yeah, that's what the dungeon map looks like. So. Yeah, let's just up the dungeon map, though. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this um, mask off. Well, we still, we still need it, but... I'm going to put it back on because we still need it, but... Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump on one of these guys. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, whatever you do, do not... I repeat, do not take off your mask while you're on one of these things. Because this will happen.
Yeah. That's what happens. So. Okay, that's a bad idea. That was a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Yes, it was. I'm dead. That was a completely bad idea. I don't know why I just demonstrated it, but I did. But yeah, that's what happens if you take off your mask. That's what happens if you take off your Deku mask when you're standing on top of those guys. Because I guess they can't feel any weight on them with the Deku scrub. Because the Deku scrub is a light, is a light, is a light transformation mask. It's like a very light character. So. Yeah, it's just a very light character. That's all it is. Deku Scrub is a very is is is, is yeah. So I'm not gonna say repeat myself because that'd be really annoying. But yeah, the Deku Scrub is that. So, but um, now that I've died somehow, let's go ahead and have let's go ahead and go the way we're supposed to go, which is down here. Now, as I said. Those things. Oh wait, I need to do something real quick. Um, so what you want to do is before you go down there, kill this thing right here because we get a deck of stick and we need, we're gonna need them. So I'm gonna get like three, I think. Three should be good. That's a good number. I'm gonna go ahead and clip them to my C left button. So we always have to say respond. If it will. There we go. There's two, then one more, that will be three. Yeah, but you do not want to, um... You do not want to take off your mask when you're uh, inside those plant things, because those things will kill you a constant, will kill you easily. Like, as you saw there. So, don't do what I did and test your theory if you're recording this game, because it's a dumb idea, because I apparently did not thing to not do it. So, I'm going to come around here now and just land right here. Alright, so now, another stray fairy is in this little spot right there. If I can, i got to turn it. Alright, I did it, okay. So yeah, there's another stray fairy right there. If we'll come down. So that's stray fairy number six. There is a stray fairy we can't get in this room right now, so we'll have to come back to that stray fairy later. There's also a stray fairy inside of this Skultala. So there we go. Now we got seven stray fairies. We're, about, we're over more than halfway there now. So let's go ahead and grab our Deku stick. Um, light it. And as soon as you light it, you're going to be chased by some moths. Now, you want to do this quickly. If possible. Damn it, Link. Alright, so if I fall again, I'm dead, because those things take... It takes two hearts just to get out of there, from the back from this area. I think there is a way you can get it if you're really skilled. You just have to aim the bubble right, but I'm not going to try to, because it's just going to be really annoying. So let's try that again. So Deku Stick, light. I said light. Thank you. Let's go ahead and adjust my camera angle real quick. Alright, and... Really? It didn't work. It did not work because it wants me to fall off the, into the water again. <sighs> This is a pain in the butt. Can I not just adjust my camera angle just so I can do good and not fall off? Because that would be nice. Uh, I guess you have to run and not fall off. So what we're going to do is light that. There we go. That's what I was trying to do, but apparently Link is too stupid to know the concept of how to do it. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and do this real quick. I'm just gonna do this real quick because I have the the thing on, so I'm just wanna light this torch right here, and there we go. Fire your sword, and that's that's all there is to it. And you do not want to be wearing this around this area if possible. All right, there we go. Done. Doesn't take much time. So this time you don't necessarily have to be Deku Link the whole time. If you're skilled enough, you don't have to be Deku Link the whole time. I'm going to replenish my life because I took a lot of damage from both the water and those things combined. So let's go ahead and there we go. We got we got we got ourselves the compass. So the compass. Whoop de doo the compass. A very useless item and a very in, in a very cool game. Yes, I say I say it's useless. The only way it's not useless is if it's something you're looking forward to. Oh no, that was almost bad. All right, so what you want to do? I'm gonna take this off. Aim myself just right if I can. Light this tor light the stick. Jump. And then you want to come this way. Jump. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Just do that. That's simple enough. And those things still damage me somehow. Don't know how they did what they did. And so there you go. If you're out of deck of sticks, don't worry, there's some right there. So, yes, I you know you sense a lot of evil. How do you sense evil, Fluttershy? All right, so I'm um, not really. It's not really Fluttershy. Why don't you say that? Um, I'm gonna kill. So we just gotta kill these things. Um, pretty simple. There's not that all. They're not all that bad. So as soon as I finish this dungeon, I think I'm gonna record one episode tonight since I'm doing a dungeon of this game. Because the next thing we ought to do is, well, no, because I have to clear the dungeon again if I want to do the thing I need to do. Oh, well, mainly just to beat the boss again. Excuse me. Thank you. I could make a safe state, I guess, and just do it that way. So that's, so there's still one left somewhere. Because... You have to kill all these things in this room to get a certain item. Oh, right, there you are. There. Once you kill all of them, a chest will appear. And in that chest will be... R. I can get to it. In that chest will be... R. Eight Stray Fairy. So yeah, so that's 8 out of 15. Now, that is the wrong direction. Yeah, that was terrible. That was a waste of time. And a waste of Deku stick. Light it, thank you. Light this one right here. Light it, thank you. Damn it. Thank you. Gosh. I said do it quickly too, so keep that in mind. Alright, so now that we've got a lot taken care of, we can now go through the door we just opened, so let's go ahead and go that direction. <coughs> now this room is my least favorite room in the game. Mainly simply in, in this temple temple. Isn't it because of those dragonflies right there? They will attack you constantly until you kill them. There is a way you can get through them without destroying them. However, I would challenge yourself to that. Because if they are right on top of you, they will. If I can go inside the thing, that would be nice. So, 
So whenever I can do this. There's really another way you can do this, but I'm just going to do it this way because it's simpler. Oh, whoa. whoa. We're going on this dawn of the second day now. So, dawn of the second day. That's where we're heading now. But I'm running at very slow times, so it's going to take a while to get to the prompt saying second day. And since we're inside of a dungeon, it won't do the title sequence. So. Alright, but, yeah. Alright, so there we go. You're now done with this, with this one. So what we want to do is, first we got to take that off. You want to step on this switch right here. Why, you ask? Well, letting, stepping on the switch will make ladders appear. So if you fall down, you don't have to worry about climbing all the way back up again. Well, you don't have to worry about going all the long way again. So let's go ahead and go fight the mini-boss. Um, each dungeon has two mini-bosses, by the way. So the first mini-boss is in here. And this, gentlemen, this is a Dinophos. Which are basically Lizaphos, just they can breathe fire. So, and they're quicker. And he's dead. Alright, done. Yeah, this main boss is simple, so... It's a simple mini boss, and that's all there is to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh... Open this. In this chest, we got ourselves the Hero's Bow. Alright. Now, um, let's go ahead and make our way to the next mini boss. So, the next main boss is pretty simple. So... Wait, 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 wait. No, we can do that, okay. So, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and jump down here. Land on this. I'm going to daycare. Okay. And what you want to do is shoot this eye switch. Sorry about that interruption, people. And when you hit the eye switch, you want to become a Deku Scrub. We're going to have to wait for this to come back up now. But you want to go into the, the Deku Flower. That's what it's called. Alright. Alright, just a second. I'll be right back. I need to do something real quick. Dad said call him. All right, sorry about that. Okay, let's try that. Okay, let's go back to what we're doing. I know it was very professional, but I had to tell my grandma something before she left because uh, I had to. So, so here's the next mini boss. These are geckos, and they're actually something else, but we'll figure that out later. So now he's since he's done that, we want to transform into Deku Link. And go inside the Deku Flower, and we gotta wait until he comes back at us. When he comes back at us, BOOM! Knock him off. 
do what you do is use your bow, knock him off the thing, transform again, go back inside the thing, and do it again. This runs and repeat the same process, pretty much. Well, that was a pretty fast total. It's pretty simple. Just a simple mini boss. It's not that difficult, really. There we go, and he's done. So that's it. That's all there is to it. And he turns into a frog, which will be, as I said, will be very important later on for a certain piece of heart we're going to get. So... What you want to do is kind of open this chest here. And in this chest you can tell by the fancy textures from, from Ocarina of Time that this is, indeed, the boss's key. So now we can go fight the boss, which is very awesome. But we had to do a couple things yet before we had to go fight the boss. So we had to get the rest of the, um... We have to get the rest of the uh, stray fairies, and then we gotta go. And then we can go fight the boss. So yeah, but that frog is there, so just need to uh, talk to him and all that stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way back to the main room. Or the hub room, I should say, not the main room, the hub room. When we come across here. And there we go. Now, this is a pretty simple thing to do, but you actually do not want to target the um, thing. You just want to aim right above it, and there you go. And that will change the water normal and also get rid of those, um, those creatures that can eat Link. So now we can step on these platforms and not have to worry about anything. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Go back to the room where we, where we climbed up, because now we can go get that stray fairy we can't get before. Preferably while avoiding this guy. Preferably. No, don't hit me. So it avoids you, not get hit by you. Okay, so then we want to jump in the water. And... I can... Run to this, and there we go. That's our ninth stray fairy. The ninth stray fairy. All right, so now let's go back out of this room because there's nothing else we need to do in here now, and head in this direction. So we can use these ladders. I think I will go ahead and. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to end this episode off here. So thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the next episode, we will finish off the rest of the dungeon and go fight the boss. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And if you really like it and want to help my channel grow, please subscribe. Also, make sure you leave a positive or negative comments down below. It's Freddy got 200 saying getting 20% cooler. Signing off. Peace out.